how to persuade a judge you ask me how to persuade a judge it's not the number of hours you've spent doing research it's not the facts that you know very well it's not the evidence there are factors outside these things that actually persuade a judge would you like to know what they are well i'll tell you convenience optics audio content why first thing convenience what's convenient make it easy for the judge how to make it easy for the judge number 1 respect his or her time number 2 don't think or behave like he is stupid and you're a schoolmaster number 3 be very very prepared prepared for more than what you think is necessary for the case how do you help the judge go straight to the point do the three tells first tell him what you're going to tell him then tell him then tell him what you told him those are known as the three tells second if you tell the judge you will take 20 minutes take 15 tell him what was the beginning of your argument what was in the body and what is the conclusion eventually tell him what you want out of him this is what the judge expects out of you as far as convenience is concerned the other thing the judge looks at is optics it's how you present yourself to the judge there is no necessity to simper before the judge be calm be collected make sure there's eye contact when he is writing stop next is audio in one of the most famous books on advocacy the author says you must lean forward slightly and adopt a deeper voice like this so when you speak you may say my lords i have three points to make if you spoke normally it would be my lords i have three points to make which one do you think sounds better don't change your accent don't try to put on a slavonic accent there are people who come to the court and put on when they speak in bahasa malaysia as if they are from america and there are people who come to court when they speak malaysian english they will put on an american english and they get it all wrong don't put on an accent the next thing that you have to do is content you really must know what you're saying how you're going to say it you must rehearse it many times before a mirror rehearse your arguments rehearse your opponent's arguments rehearse a reply to your opponent's arguments and rehearse his reply to your arguments so these things are very very important so remember i told you the three tells tell them what you're going to say then tell them then tell them what you told them number 1 The first thing that you need to do with the judge is to make it easy for the judge help the judge second optics number 3 audio deeper voice number 4 content you really must know where you're going why you're doing what you want why are you asking for the relief get straight to the point don't waste the judge's time now that we are doing virtual hearings divide that by 3 so if you're going to take 30 minutes do it in 10 it doesn't matter whether you lose or whether you win obviously you must do the best you can for your client but i tell you what malaysian judges like they like lawyers who speak slowly they like lawyers who are exceedingly courteous without sucking up to them make the distinction when you are uncertain do not betray your uncertainty by showing your hands which trembles put it below the parapet when one judge is asking you a question and another judge is asking you another question tell the judges could i please answer my lord sale first and afterwards i will deal with my lady hasna this is how you do it so they know that you are going to address them and even if the question is a very hard question address it and sometimes tell them I really don't know the answer to the question but I think this is what it is. Be honest, always be honest. Never tell the court something that's untrue. If you're not sure, say I really am not sure about this point. I apologize. I'm not sure about the facts. Therefore I can't give you an answer. If you would want a deeper answer, could I take 5 minutes out? Let me consult with my solicitor. Always be truthful. You may lose the case, but 5 years down the line 
when this judge has been promoted to the federal court and you're appearing before the judge, this judge will tell her colleagues, if this man says it this way, it will be truthful. As between these two lawyers, I prefer his words because he won't bluff. Itu mahal tu. That's expensive. And once you have a good name in the court, fight like mad to maintain the good name. Tell your solicitor or your client, you will not press points which are dishonorable. Tell your client, do not indulge in dishonorable conduct. If your opponent is rude and uncouth and improper, don't respond to it. Maintain your dignity. Remember Raja Aziz? You want an example? Think of Raja Aziz. You'll be fine. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. Press the like button. You know why when you press the like button, all further videos that I do will come to you. And if you press the bell, all notifications will be sent to you. And you will help me build this channel, which will actually help a lot of people in the public. There are at least seven or eight people behind this production and they are working very hard. Look at my producer, editor and director Saman peering at me from behind the camera, working on just setting up the lights for two hours. Didn't even have anything to eat before that. Thank you very much. Good day.